All right, so the help that I needed was the help that Natalie had. Natalie had help collecting evidence and taking screenshots. I didn't even know how. She had friends in her life that she got to see. She got to go to college. She got to go do fun things. She got to do all these things as a reward for her drugs. It was a reward for her drugs. She got all these things because she was pretty. She got all this help because she was pretty. Help. What Tim Beeson did was not help. What he did was harass and threaten somebody who didn't have it coming. Ted has it coming. Tim Beeson has it coming. Not me. You know why? Because Ted Bollinger's the one that raped Natalie. Tim Beeson, too. Maybe you guys should have uh, paid attention. Maybe if you guys were as decent at looking at the details as I am, you'd have noticed things like Natalie's first Tim post on that uh, YouTube channel of hers is from when she was 14. 14. That's called statutory rape, bud. You guys want to talk about me being a creepy old man when I was just friends with her. The help that I needed, it's not fucking rocket science. If this girl, this little girl who is a grown adult, who knows how to take screenshots, if she needs help, obviously I'm going to need help. If I'm actually being assaulted and she's not getting any consequences from me except me asking her to stop and cursing because I'm being abused, then fuck you. I invested the resources I had into two things. Number one, making the courts happy for assaulting me and abusing me and preventing me from showing evidence. That's where the majority of my money went. Not just my money. Number two, getting an honest goddamn day in court. I mean, I, I was constantly moving from place to place to place to place to place to place. The police literally went out of their way to take full advantage of my disabilities. No, I am not responsible I'm not responsible for any of this. And I'm not going to apologize to any of you son of a bitches for the things that I had to do to defend myself without your help. Here's some food, Sean. Here's some food, Sean. Fuck your food and shove it up your ass. Your food is not going to stop the eternity of abuse that I have to endure. I can't see my loved ones! But that didn't make any difference to these little heroin whores, did it? No, it didn't. Life was about free drugs, free alcohol, free sex. Free shit! Free, 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 because you're pretty! You want to pretend I'm sexist for saying that? No, you stupid fucking bitches. Throw yourselves at good-looking men exactly the same way. The most superficial people on my Facebook are all women. Nearly every single woman who complains about how terrible men are and what pigs men are, I'm taking screenshots of this shit. These very same women are saying, I need dick. I have to have penis now. No, you don't. No, the fuck you don't. 
Matter of fact, after shaming ugly dudes because you think they might possibly be thinking about sex? No, you should have your fucking vagina sewn shut and never be allowed to have sex again. You goddamn right I'm going to slut shame you, you stupid slut. It's okay for you to go out and spread your legs for every decent looking dude out there. And then you treat a dude who says hello, but is unattractive, like he's trying to fucking rape you. You stupid bitch. You're the one getting drunk and letting dudes who have absolutely no respect for you blow a load inside of you. You get knocked up, and then all of a sudden everybody owes you because you got a fucking kid. Sorry. I'm not sorry. Equality means, number one, all right, I fully agree with going and hunting down the motherfucker who got you pregnant. I do. I agree with you getting your money and getting your child support. I agree with that 100%. But I don't agree with you treating other people like they owe you because you got drunk and spread your legs. Or because he got drunk and put it in you. These are not my decisions. And you guys shaming me for being a human being just for having a penis. Just because it exists, you treat me like shit. Fuck you. Meanwhile, Ted Bollinger rapes his daughter. He gets to do whatever the fuck he wants. You fucking pieces of shit. 